Hey, what's up, everyone? Eric Rossi, the guy with the guy here. And today, when I'm doing this, and if you're tomorrow when you're viewing this, or in the future, if you're just hearing about this, something pretty awesome and I think uh, very, very innovative just happened right now in the photography, tech, photo community. And it is the Light L16 camera. Why is it so important? What the hell is different about it? Why does it look so goofy? Let's talk about it. Let's break it down and let's react to it. Let's go. So if you did not hear about this, this is a brand new camera that has been announced and it is essentially going to be released in the summer of 2016. So you got another full year until this actually comes out, but you can pre-order this. I'll cover that in a second. Now, why is this such a big deal? Why is it so innovative? It's because you have a pocket sized DSLR or you have a pocket sized uh, camera that, that this light company claims is in between a DSLR and your cell phone. So your, uh, your smartphone. So it's saying it's right in the middle. That's their target point, And that's essentially what they're doing. And that's one of the biggest things they keep driving is that this is DSLR quality. You'll get great low light images, uh, and everything like that. The one main thing that they don't, you know, that they don't really keep harping on is the multiple cameras is the multiple lenses, not cameras, the multiple lenses that they have in this. They have 16 lenses. Let's go through this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 uh, different lenses. I may have counted something by accident. They have, uh, and then a flash, which is going to be useless. But the, the big part about this is that this is a 52 megapixel uh, camera. Not really, because these 52 megapixels are split up, and you know, in regards to individual uh, lenses and capturings and everything like that. So you are able to capture all at the same time. You're able to capture different exposures, different kinds of shutter speeds and apertures and lights and everything coming in all at one time. You you can essentially you don't even have to mask objects anymore in post. You can go from an f a 1.8 to an f 16 by just selecting in editing because it's capturing different you know this lens could be capturing at f16 this could be at f4 this could be at shutter speed it, it it's an interesting multi aperture camera uh and it, it's just something that really needs to be talked about because it's once again it's 52 megapixels but it's everything combined working it together so i also agree with a lot of uh, things that i've been reading some videos that i were watching is that this isn't about a high megapixel camera it's about the quality it's about what you're getting now it will be interesting to see what the heck kind of image that this produces because there's not a lot of test shots um out there you know i'll show some video uh, some uh, uh some pictures down on the, the official website i'll even link it down below in the description but there's no swapping of lenses you have everything on there um personally to me that doesn't matter but for something like this you know it's in your pocket you're going to kind of cringe at the price when i get to it but it but it's interesting as i said um they they kept a very minimum design as well they wanted a minimal uh design and essentially it's a five inch touch screen that you go towards the back let me see if i can um scroll down and get some uh images so for example uh something right here they had just have like a shutter button on top and that's about it everything is menu driven um on the touch screen um you know, once again, 16, uh, 16 lenses, it fuses the images together. Essentially, it's like a, a hyper form of um, HDR, or you can choose that, or like uh, bracketing images because you can have complete control over the depth of field and everything in post, essentially. So you are still doing the work, but you're not doing the work in a way. It's because it's kind of coming. I don't know. This is a probably a better form of how the Lytro failed. So I think that this might be a really cool technology. And I hope that as we learn more about this, you don't get some janky only you're able to do this in this light technology thing. You can only use it in their stupid, you know, system that you can actually share your images. So I hope that, hope that they can get out something to the Photoshop Lightroom community or something else besides some of their system or that they, they let you export it pretty well. So this is really cool. It's a 35 to 150 millimeter optical zoom type camera. Once again, uh, you know, each camera has multiple sensors. Uh, what else am I missing? Uh, blah, blah, blah. You can shoot fast and slow shutter speeds at the same time. It has exposure for different subjects at the same time. No need for masking, instant depth of field. Uh, and as I said, it is pocket sized. And this thing will cost you, if you want to pre order it, is $1,300. And as it releases in the summer of 2016, it will be $1,700. So this isn't cheap. You know, they're really going, um, you know, high here. It, so it's crazy. And uh, watching the videos, they're kind of cool. 
but you know, seeing this, what it can possibly do, it, it it's just really cool. It's just really exciting. You know, I think that this technology, if it works, as I said, Lytro had tried this. It didn't really do well at all. Um, they just sucked with how they approach things and how they're, it just, it just didn't, well, I've tried Lytro. It just wasn't a great thing. And I think that this is a way more advanced form of that. And it would just be interesting to see how it works and how you completely control this. And as it comes out, you know, obviously there's going to be a little bit more news, but the fact that this technology is, you know, pretty much crept up and it's kind of been in the, it, it kind of been in the helms in the back is just been how something like this kind of came to and what it can do. It's just, it is a little mind blowing and it's very exciting for the industry and what they're allowing you know Sony can't even touch something like this type of thing but I'm sure maybe if you know this light integrated with another company or you know we could start getting the you know these type of things on other cameras that would be amazing imagine having like a dual or you know quad sensor which you can you know split it up and trade some things and everything like that so I think this is an exciting thing for the photo tech community Especially even if you could do video, if you threw this on some kind of video sensor, holy crap, that would be amazing to be able to say, you know, expose for someone on the right side of the screen a little differently than the left side of the screen and still retain absolute quality would be fantastic. I would love a technology like this in a DSLR form for uh, weddings. So what are your thoughts on this? As I said, it's a 52 megapixel camera, multiple lenses, multiple sensors. You could control everything pretty much kind of like individually or in quadrants and everything like that. 1300 bucks pre-order if you want to test it out. I think you can, um, you know, hold on. What do they have it up here? I think, you know, here's kind of a cool quick shot of how the lenses and everything that'll work. But if you click on the reserve, you'll see that it um, on November 6th is when the price will go up to that $1,800 or um, the $1699.99. But if you do it right now, you could put up the 200 bucks. Um, kind of as a, you know, pre-order type thing, kind of as a shipping, and then you get that $1,300 discount. So once again, I just, I think this technology is really cool. Give me your thoughts down below. What this can do, what this is going to do, uh, will be very, very interesting. Um, I know I kind of rambled a little bit, but this is a, uh, a big deal. And I think it will be a game changer or at least influence a bigger company to, um, change the game a little bit, if not integrate a little bit of what this light company has done and really change the game and step it up. It's a time where 720p blew the minds of people. They said, well, that's not going to be it or um, that you'll never, ever be able to take great images with your cell phone. We had flip phones or, you know, that Nokia brick when I was even younger and I couldn't even text. Um, this is just something I think that's going to be on the line along the lines of that as well. And I just think it's something excited to look forward to. Who knows? What do you think? Is it stupid? Is it cool? What's intriguing? What is dumb about it? Let me know down in the comments below. Across the gap with the eye, the light L16 camera. Holy hell, this will be interesting.